Hey guys, welcome back to Sapper Steel Forge. Uh, yeah, we're inside today. It is insanely hot out there. And after everything I did yesterday, uh, I had an apprentice helping me out. And we knocked out like four knives. And some grocery hooks. And I'm just beat. I'm going to take the day off, and we're going to work inside today, which is fine because we got the festivals coming up, and I want to do something cool for the booth. So I thought today we'd go over just a little bit of crafting ideas, just some fun little crafts to, to help the booth stand out. So what I'm going to do is, and I just released a short video about my, my daughter's, uh, you know, uh, uh, candles and soaps. So I've... Printed off a little sign for her. It says Monkey Rose Creations. And, uh, that don't fit. Okay, so we're going to show you how to make this fit. And then how we're going to attach it to the sign. So that it's going to be really cool. That's how you know this is live. Because, boy, I just messed up, didn't I? That's okay. Because it's so close to fitting. That going in... And trimming just a bit from below and above, the monkey is going to make this work. And there's nothing wrong with a three part sign, so we're just going to take and trim out. So, you make this. A little bit smaller. There we go. Now, if I ain't completely screwed it up again, see now I can take and kind of make this work. There we go. Trim this a little bit at the bottom. And we'll just uh, trim the sides here. So all the things I should have done before I turned the video camera on, I reckon. But that's life for you. I I, <laughs> I have a real bad habit of getting an idea and just kind of running with it. And I, I managed to defeat it mostly outside with the forge, but I come inside and it just gets me again. All right, but we're all set up now. So we got our little sign here. And like I said, I just, uh, I, I just went on a, a, an AI thing called Canva. It's free, free uh, photo editing and whatnot. And I just uh, use their little AI thing to make have it make the little clip art monkey in a rose so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this little concoction of mine all this is is regular old school glue mixed with a little bit of coffee and that's so it browns it and kind of makes it match the the wood now the, i should have said this already i'm, I'm all out of it so we're this little sign here uh, i picked up at the dollar tree it's buck 25. It's just a little bit of wood to sign. I just took some stain and just, just rubbed it on there. As you can see, I didn't stain it, you know, perfectly. I didn't want, I want it to look kind of dirty and, and, and rustic. You know, since we're having a blacksmithing booth, I wanted everything to look rustic. And so I want her sign to kind of match the booth. So that's why I mixed coffee with the uh the glue and i'm just gonna paint that on there and let that just soak in and make it stick to the board and as it soaks through that paper and makes it stick it's also going to kind of discolor it a little bit or actually it's going to stick to my hand and this is why I don't give crafting classes, folks, because it turns out I'm not really great at it. 
I have some fun ideas every now and again, but boy, I could screw it up too. Okay, so now we got the monkey rose on there. Let's sure. Let's see. How do we want to do this? Because I don't want to. There we go. Okay. Make sure it's all gonna still fit on there properly. And now we're just gonna take. And we're going to use a pretty good amount of glue because you want it, you know, the glue's thinned down with the coffee, but it didn't, you know, a little splash tablespoon of coffee, if that. I probably got, I don't know, a tablespoon or so of uh, glue. And I'd say probably roughly equal parts coffee and glue. Maybe not quite. The added bonus that this will waterproof the, uh, the uh, paper and the sign as well just did it again the, the downside to doing it like this is it is a little bit trickier at first because the glue obviously wants to stick to the front of the paper and so you got to uh, get it on there and, and get all around it as well to kind of create an environment in which it'll just stick and stay down. But once you get that, and we just let that dry. And uh, there we have it. Monkey Rose Creations. And this will hang over top the, uh, the portion of the uh, booth. The portion. I have had a long day already. Uh, the portion of the booth that has the hair soaps and candles and so it'll be there for it uh we're gonna do a quick cut and i'm gonna show you the next thing we're doing all right so the next little project is is a little organizer uh again dollar tree buck 25 for this little uh, wooden crate uh again i, I just took some I don't remember what stain I might have even used the mahogany wax. I, I generally, I, I genuinely don't recall at this point now. But yeah, every bit of character staining in it, I did that. But uh, yeah, it, it takes next to no time. So I've got this. I've got a couple of these little wooden dowels, also from the Dollar Tree. Uh, I've got some of these jumbo craft sticks. And what I'm going to do is inside this... Uh, little box will be the hairpins uh, and I'll put you know stack them in there and then people can see them so what I'm going to do is attach these here and then attach these up top and create a little sign a, a place to put the sign so you know everything will be nice and labeled it, it'll be rustic looking but very organized and everything will be labeled in its place so all we're going to do is we're going to break out Every crafter's favorite little thing, the hot glue gun. Yep, that's the, the little cheap one from the dollar store. Uh, the amount of stuff you can do for really cheap is, is fascinating. And, you know, you don't have to spend a ton of money for stuff. I guess I had some in there still. That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Stop for a second and let's see if we can tilt this down just a bit more so we can see what we're doing. We'll move the box out of the way right now. And these two will go together to create the place where the sign will go. And it'll just be like a little banner sign that says hairpins. So next thing we do is we're just gonna add a bit of the hot glue. Right the stick and then I'm going to use enough to make sure it stays together and by gluing that stick on there it'll also prevent it the, uh, the two craft sticks from going anywhere so, so we nothing wrong with using a good enough amount to be sure Heck, we can even 
pop a little in there. Now, something I'm realizing is I didn't measure. So now, that's going to be all off kilter, but you know what? That's, that's going to kind of work. That's going to kind of give us that, uh, that rustic, it ain't really been paid attention to, we just threw it together, sort of look. And of course the reason for that is I didn't pay attention and yeah, I, I should have, but alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put some glue on the sticks and we're going to turn this up like so. Now, again, we're going to just go around the edges here, anywhere it's attached, and just make good and sure. And now we'll just uh, let that set for a few minutes, and voila, we got an area to put our little sign. And, you know, it, it, it looks rustic it looks homey it it works for me so uh yeah we'll put a little banner sign uh, i i've got some of them i haven't printed them out yet i need to do that before all that glue dries uh so i'm actually going to stop what i'm doing right now and uh go print out the little banner signs and then i'll be right back All right, so I went and printed them out, and uh, I've got three of them. This is uh, copper hairpins, steel hairpins, and wooden hairpins, which are all things I'm going to be offering. Uh, so I'm just going to take and line these up right here on the, uh, the little sign part. And then it's going to be exactly what we did before. We're going to go into this uh, coffee glue mixture and just paint the whole thing so the paper gets nice and soaked with the glue and it also prevents you know any sort of a mishap if I should spill some some water or something on the thing. Once that glue dries, it'll be it'll make it nice and waterproof. So once that's brushed on, we just gotta wait for it to dry. But yeah, there we have it. That will be a little box that holds the hairpins. So uh, I think we're gonna do one more thing here right now and again this is just a little I'm not even sure like a little piece of fence or something Dollar Tree they, they had all these little wooden bits and so I just add a little bit of stain do they even yeah I think I use a real light stain on this one sometimes I can't even tell uh, now I'm gonna take and cut out Two more of these little banners that I've got. Now, because of the size of that sign, I couldn't cut out the banners entirely. I, I ended up having to leave behind, you can see the little boxes that went around the words. Well, for this thing, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be able to leave the whole thing together. So let's just trim up this edge here. And this will be the sign for Monkey's area that has the decorative soap bars and the rose candles. So, yeah. Nothing, <laughs> nothing new here. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to use some more of that glue and just get it nice and soaked into the paper and just glue it down. Again, I, you know, it, it, this week, uh, I don't know uh, if I'll be doing any other videos. We'll see. It's it's kind of a hectic time. 
uh, it, it's been crazy lately. I, I don't understand it. Not complaining. In fact, I'm incredibly grateful to all of you. Uh, the Celtic ring knives have blown up. I have sold more Celtic ring knives in the past month than I sold knives last year. I've got nine due out right now. Uh, like I said, I got uh, four of them, and, and I'm just... That's a lot of hammering, and, and I'm just really tired today, so I thought I'd take today off. Tomorrow, I'll be right back out there and uh, get stuff done. But, uh, you know, I, I can't tell y'all, and, and it, it always sounds so disingenuous because you always hear it from, you know, people on YouTube. Thank y'all. I, I genuinely mean it. And y'all you, you mean the world to me just for, you know, the fact that I can even begin to, to help my family and make a living doing blacksmithing and, and stuff is just really, it's mind-blowing. And Erica is super excited about selling her stuff. She she's having a ball. You know, this is the dream. Uh, I I never I never wanted to work for other people, and I, I, I don't I don't do well in that that situation. Uh, as a truck driver for a long time, and man, that's that's brutal stuff right there. You know, uh, appreciate the truck drivers, guys. They, 16-hour days and uh, being away from your family that much ain't good for nobody. And, and it because the companies always want more than that, too. But, uh, you know, th this is this is the dream. Uh, we're not there yet. But I'm closer to being able to, to really do this dream than I've ever been before. And y'all the reason. So, uh, I, I really do appreciate you. Um, so, uh, the next couple of weeks, videos might be more little crafting stuff. We will see. Uh, I, I really don't have time to do a lot of other things out at the Forge right now because I have so much of the same thing due out. So, we'll see. And, uh, but... You know, hey, we're, we got to get ready for the for the craft shows, and uh, you know, this is like a big deal to us. So, uh, hey, I hope to see y'all there. You know, it, on the off chance that anybody that's watching this shows up at the craft show, feel free to come right up. And, hey, dude, I seen you on YouTube. You're just as fat and ugly as you are on TV. I'd be, ain't gonna bother me. I appreciate it, anyways. But uh, yeah, we're gonna let these dry, and I'm gonna do my best to take the rest of the day off, which is a very difficult thing for me. Y'all take care.